All right, guys, the really cool people over at iArcade sent me this really cool display, so we're gonna test it out and see how it is. All right, gamers, as you know, I am a big fan of the arcade series by my arcade. In fact, I was the very first person that was allowed to come in and video to the whole world what these things were all about, so it was very cool. And it seems like there's a new kid in town with the company of iArcade. And they actually sent me this demo to show off to you guys, which I gotta say it's a pretty interesting uh, way they're coming at the this field because instead of releasing one game or a set of games on this system, they are throwing a bunch of arcade games into a like a cloud-like system and you can download which ones and purchase ones you can actually load into your system. So yeah, it's kind of a different spin than what my arcade is doing. But the first thing I wanna do is look at the build because it's a little bit different. Now the very first thing I'm gonna show off here is the build of the cabinet. As you can see, it is one single piece. It doesn't sit on a riser like the my arcade ones do. So yeah, it's just totally one piece here, which is kind of interesting. And then we have the top part, which gives us a huge configuration of layout with the buttons here. So you have six little buttons per controller, and then you have the start buttons, volume buttons, coin buttons, all the, you know, all the, the start and whatnot buttons. Now, as far as the screen goes, you'll get about the same size as the my arcade ones. And then I've got to say the sound is incredible. They put some nice speakers up top here with the iArcade logo. And the other different thing about this build is that this arcade cabinet comes apart right here. So you can actually play this as a, a tabletop barcade uh, because I know my arcade uh, sells these separately. They have their barcade line and then the actual arcade cabinet line. So they put this all in one. So, all right, you probably wanna see this thing in action. So let's turn on the power button and get things started here. So there's the IRK logo. Okay, so here we have the main screen for the iArcade and they've separated all the games that come on this system by genre. So you can see all of them at once or you can go to the, just the action ones, the arcade ones, fighting, puzzle, racing, shooter, sports, and then the settings, of course. But what's really cool is these are all the games that come pre-installed. You get uh, awesome games like Dragon Slayer, love that. And for NES fans, Double Dragon, also love that. But you're probably wondering, okay, so how do I put games on this system? So what you have to do is you have to go to the IRK website and download them there. Uh, right here is my purchase history. And as you can see, there's a button to install them on your device and they put Space Ace and Dead Cells on my system. So if we just start this, and there we go. As you can see, it's starting to download now, Dead Cells. And of course, if you go to the store here, they've got all kinds of other titles like Dragon's Lair 2, Double Dragon 3, Karnov's Revenge, and a lot of other third-party things that I've never heard of before, but you know, you can explore them for a decent price, and some of them are free. But all right, enough jabbering, let's get to the actual game system here. So I'm gonna go over to the arcade, Dragon's Lair. I love Dragon's Lair. Boy, this takes me back. And to be playing with actual joysticks again, perfect. So here we go, we're playing the game, and I gotta warn you, these speakers get quite loud, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll probably go deaf, actually. <laughs> so here we go. And of course, I'm always dying at this game. All right, give me another Dirk, and I'll go back in. Oh, the, the balls, I love this one. So just keep going and avoid the balls. This is my favorite as a kid, man. It's just so colorful and iconic. I'm trying to get this smashed. Ah, oh, I hit the button. Come on. Ah. Oh, ah. All right. So here we go with the uh, ropes. All right. So so uh, good so far. Yes, I passed one. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Okay, come on! Oh man, I'm actually oh, that's my best one yet on there. Oh jeez. So I gotta say, man, this game just takes me back. I love it. Uh. All right, so here we go. 
All right, got past that. And I just love the animation. It's pure Don Bluth at his best. And of course, I'm dead. Poop. All right, so let's go to another game I'm familiar with. Good old Double Dragon. I used to love playing this on the NES. So down here, there is a coin button. Just hit that a couple times. Throw some credits on the machine. And away we go. And yeah, with games like Doug Double Dragon under iArcade's belt, you know, it kind of gives them the advantage over my arcade because they have not even adapted this one to um, their con uh, arcade systems yet. So yeah, man, this just brings me back. And then, of course, you can get the second player involved as, if you want as well. And like I said, you can also remove this and put it on top of, you know, a bar if you want to do that as well. So you have that option available too. So as you can see, it's it's pretty much like the arcade experience. Same game and everything. Uh, nice little screen. And the speakers are loud as well. So we'll go back to the arcade here and I'll show you some of these other games. So here we have Dead Cells. And this of course is a newer hit game that's uh, adapted to the arcade system here. So yeah, you get to slice and dice through all the enemies here. So they've got older stuff, they've got newer stuff like this game here. If we check out some of these other freebie games on this system, here's the puzzle-like Tetris game. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. There's also a snowboarding game which covers the sports section. And this game is pretty much what you'd expect, go around on a snowboard and just hit the buttons at the right time. Then you've got your shooter game, which is basically a clone of the game 1942. If you're, and that's going back, that reference. And then if you want a racing game, got one of these on here too, which kind of gives you your Mario Kart fix. So it's kind of set up in that style. Boom, out of my way. And if you're in a Street Fighter kind of action, and it's pretty much strictly a Street Fighter clone, so yeah, these games were a dime a dozen back in the 90s. But as for arcade games, we've got some more here, like Diver Boy, which you dive down and get the little jewels here. And uh, God help you if you hit those fish. It looks like most of these games are by Unico, which I've never heard of them before, but yeah, we have games like this where you kill chickens. And then we have Twin Brats, which is kind of like a Pac-Man clone, where you collect little pellets and things coming after you. And you flip those little doors around, so it's kind of like uh, Pac-Man Jr., in fact. And then the last free game on here is Bomb Squad, Ugh, which blows you up if you hit the wrong button. Which is kind of like Bomberman, because you're throwing things, bombs, all that good stuff, and then enemies show up at one point. I can't remember how much further into the game, but they do. So, all right, there's a quick look at IRK, the big basic package. And like I said, I love Dragon's Lair. So, of course, that game for me is worth the purchase price of this thing alone because there's no other way to play that on an arcade system right now. So that, yeah, got to love that. And uh, to actually play it with a joystick again, beautiful. I love it. So, all right, guys, if you want to learn more, check out iArcade.com and they can hook you up with one right there as well. So, so thanks, subscribe, and game on.